So, hi. Um, first of all, sorry for the bad setup. I haven't got so much space in my room. Um, and the bad lightning. I haven't got so much light. But let's try it anyway. I want to show you now how to disassemble this Power Mac G3. Why I want to do is, um, I saw a video a few hours ago where someone was cleaning a very filthy Power Mac G3 and it was it was oh my goodness he left the board inside and cleaned up the machine from the outside under a sink this this was this was the most tragic thing I've ever saw so let's start with the enclosure and this is very easy you do need a Torx T10 to unscrew the enclosure on the front side there are four screws on the side panel to be exact and also the handles all still the same but on the side panels the screws are longer than on the handles so this is the difference this is the difference between these two screws on the other side. You have to imagine these computers, if you get a hand on one, 20 years old and if they come from a professional the computer is working and stop nearly a few years so it is very very filthy normally so now you can lift the computer up and the feet come apart. On the bottom side we do have two more plastic pieces. That are only clipped in. Very easy. Now we can open the door and get rid of the CD bay. Here on the inside are two latches you have to push inside. And then you can just get rid of this part. And at the, fr and at the front there are two screws. Phillips. and two. Now you can push it out. 
get rid of the cables from, from the back very easily. You do have three cables on this machine. One is for the CD audio, one is for the IVE, and one is the Molex for power. And then you can just pull it out. Very easy. Now we can get the front out. We do need a tiny screwdriver. There are three latches, one on top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. You have to push this in and then you can wiggle it out. The button is um, glued um, on two pins and you could even push the apple logo out. But now you can get inside and outside and destroy it with scratches. Um, you have to be a little bit careful at the front because, I hope you can see this, here is a, a foam for the speaker and this is 20 years old and it will it will fall apart when you try to touch it. Now the top is only slided in place in one direction and this one is slided to the back so we need to get rid of the back panel first. <clears throat> this is also very easy and once again we need the Torx. Three screws. It's still the same Torx, it's still T10. Yes. And this one at the top. Now the back panel is loosened. And on the bottom, you can't see this right now, there are two latches on the inside. You have to push. It's very hard to film it and very hard to come by. A few latches on the top also and then you have one on the side which won't get loose right now. You yeah, just have to wiggle it a little bit with ah, feeling and also this just pull it over and it's it's gone. And now you can just slide this thing yeah. out and lift it up. So as you can see we only have two parts left. This one, the side panel and this side panel. Let's get rid of this side panel first. But it is, it, it is rather tragic. You need a Phillips screwdriver. And here are two screws, very deep inside, very hard to find. But at the top, uh, at the bottom, of the shielding of the fan. You need to loosen this, otherwise you can't get the back panel off. Oh my goodness. Without damaging your hands. Awesome. And it's very, very useful if the tip is magnetic. Now you can push down and uh, pull down and once again wiggle it out and on top here is a, a plug with a plastic feather and it's out and you can see it's filthy. I hope you can see it. I give the best that I can with my light but it is really very dark but hmm 
So, let's uh, try something. Wow. I hope you can see it, but give a little bit of light. Here, behind the cables, are two plastic latches. These are very strong and we need to push these latches in while pushing the plastic out. Sounds weird, but this is, this is the case. This is what you have to do. And then, with just a little bit of force, You hear funny noises, it's my cat. I can't get it out. I'm so close of losing it. One half is is already out. Such an annoying spot for this plastic. Thank you very much. So, you can see the fat belly. I'm sorry. Now it's time to get out the board. Um, first of all, we unplug all the cables. So like this, uh, we can keep this inside. Then we have to unscrew the two cards that are on this board. One, give it to me, and two. Get rid of the cards. This is a SCSI card. I explained it. And somewhere around here is the screw. There. Yeah. Thank you very much. So the last two cables that we need to loosen the power cable IDE1, IDE2. And then there are a few screws for the board. One here, one there. If it is not happened at the first try, so sorry, it is also around 16 or 17 years ago that I screwed on one of these machines. Screwed. I don't know if it's if this is real in English, I'm sorry if it is not. So, a few screws. I think we have to loosen this as well. Oh, so many screws! When we disassemble the G4, you can see they got rid of a lot of screws because they weren't, weren't really necessary. Wow, there's also a screw. This is quite annoying. We also have to loosen the firewire ports. There's one screw from the outside. This is quite annoying. Apple. If you ask yourself why it is so expensive, this is why, or well, this was why, and underneath there is also a screw. 
Screw ya! And now, still not loosen. We have to loosen this. I do believe this is too big, but maybe this will fit. No! No! It won't fit. And this also won't fit. So I think. Uh, this is annoying. This is really annoying. Ah, damn. Damn it. Ah, I'll be right back. Thanks to the magic of editing, I got this loose as well. So now you can lift out the board. This is a wonderful board from the back side. Isn't this nice? It is, I, I, I think it is, it is a piece of art, the spot. It's really a piece of art. Put it in a safe spot. And as you can see, two screws left. One here, one there. And this one was opened before because one of the latches are missing. This is not my fault. And there you have it. Perfectly disassembled. Ready for cleaning. Power Mac G3. You can go further, but from, from this point now, there's only one screw left. The rest is very easy to put out. <laughs> 